up what's up this is your girl Yvonne coming to you with another video telling you a little bit of this and a little bit of that getting you upfront and personal in my life and this time I'll be coming to you with a video letting you know oh my grandmother prepare her chicken foot cabbage soup yes guys chicken foot cabbage soup chicken foot cabbage soup was one of my grandmother's specialty that she used to cook for us when we were sick or we had a cold or we was not just not feeling good and she used to prepare that soup for us and god knows when she prepared that soup and anything that was happening to us we would just popped up chicken food cabbage soup wasn't something that i see everybody around us was preparing at the time because cabbage was like a side dish and but in jamaica Everybody used to prepare chicken foot soup on the weekends, especially on a Saturday. That was Jamaican specialty. Would it be chicken foot soup? Would it be beef soup or chicken soup or whatever flavor meat you would like to use? But I've never seen nobody use cabbage and chicken foot together mix. Not until I came here to the United States where people using cabbage, making cabbage soup and also using cabbage as a juice, then the light popped open in my head, guys. It did pop open because I said, oh, that's why we were feeling so better when our grandmother used to prepare those type of soup for us. Only time we used to go to the doctor was when we had to be immunized and that was mandatory for school. So whatever ailment we had, our grandmother was just there to prepare whatever it necessary to make us get better and chicken food soup was one of our specialty so we know when anybody got sick in the house we knew exactly what her grandmother was going to prepare we used to look at her like oh my god we're going to get cabbage chicken food soup because we used to think she was crazy well she wasn't crazy guys because that is one of the specialty right now cabbage is one of the specialty in in, in diet right now so guys, if you want to know, learn more about this cabbage chicken food soup, don't be afraid to watch until the end. Come on guys, let me take you to the kitchen and show you how my grandmother prepared her chicken food cabbage soup. So guys, these are the ingredients my grandmother would use. So this is the carrot right here in this bowl. And over there is the chicken foot that is already prepared and we, I cut it or have it stripped and cut the toes off. This is the cabbage already chopped up in the bowl. And also this is the chicken noodle soup, seasoning flavor that I'm going to be adding to it. And also this is some chopped up onion. And over here I have some thyme and along with some chopped up garlic. I also have some chocho that I already sliced up and here is my scotch bonnet pepper and some scallion and over here I have some cilantro and guys I already have the, the pot on the fire already ready to have the chicken foot put in so I am going to go ahead and and put the chicken foot in guys the reason I put in the chicken foot first is because you have to get the chicken foot cook properly soft because the rest of the ingredients is easily cooked so I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken foot into the boiling water and I'm gonna let it boil for about 45 minutes where the fork will be able to stick through it easily now guys the chicken foot is now ready the my fork is able to pierce through it easily look at it now I'm gonna go ahead and put the carrot in then I'm gonna go ahead and add it, the chocho to it I'm also gonna go ahead and put the the thyme and the garlic and then I am going to go ahead and add the onions 
and that onions give it some flavor guys I'm gonna go ahead and stir it around and just make sure every everything is just evenly in the pot at this time I'm just gonna put add some a little salt in the pot just to give it a little taste you know you can make the, the, the salt absorb into the chicken foot so when you bite on the chicken foot it has it, it is it has that taste now I'm going to just fit, um, stir the salt around in the pot and I'm going to cover it over and leave it and let it simmer for another 30 to 35 minutes Then guys, this is what it looks like after 30 to 35 minutes. It's all cooked down in the pot. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in my cabbage. But before I do that, I'm going to add some extra water to it. Just enough water to make the, the cabbage have um, space to move around in. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put the cabbage in the soup because I'm coming near to the end of it right now. So this is it guys. I'm going to put it all together, mix it up all together and I'm going to make it, um, uh, it's going to be like that. Put the scallion in and then I'm going to go ahead and have the cilantro to it. Then I'm going to put, I put the pepper also along just to give it that flavor and then I'm going to just cover it over and let it simmer for a while. And this is what it looks like guys after it is cooked down. So practically it is almost finished. I'm going to go ahead and add some more water to it because I'm going to leave it to sit for a while because I have to put the noodle, the chicken noodle in to give it that flavor and that, that nice taste. So the noodle has to cook for a little while, so I'm going to just um, put that in for a while and let it simmer. And during the time this is simmering guys, I have to turn the stove down a little bit so that, you know, it just right. And guys, this is the end result of it. Voila! This is your chicken foot cabbage soup ready to be eaten. Now, here it is, guys. Ready to chow down. Do you want to chow down with me? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is something that I miss my grandmother for. Mm -hmm. Guys, I've completed everything. If you're still here at this time, it simply means that you enjoy this video. So don't be afraid to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you can be informed of another video. Like my grandmother used to say, if you can be good, be careful. Walk good, guys.